Greetings, friends. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus. So good to be with you this morning. I'm going to be speaking briefly about a scripture that has been sitting, resonating in my heart. I don't need to tell you, we live in the most unprecedented time of all human history. The world has literally never experienced anything like what we're experiencing now. We are literally, as I speak to you, under virtual house arrest. We are not allowed to meet together. We don't know when we'll next be allowed to meet together. It is just a crazy world. And who knows what the world's going to look like that we're going to come out of on the other side. You can be quite sure of one thing. It's not going to be the same world that we left behind. But here's the great news. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8 says this. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God that we have that anchor of hope beyond the veil. Thank God that we have the word of God that never changes. Thank God that every single one of the promises that God gives us, and we're going to need to learn to a greater dimension to trust in this word. Every one of those words is yes and amen to his glory. We have been given exceeding great and precious promises. And Jesus has gone before us. Thank God that he is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is in your future. He is in my future. I have no idea what that future is going to look like. I don't think anybody can predict where we're going to be next month, next year, in five years time. Nobody knows, but God knows. And he hasn't changed. And I believe this is a time to press in. I believe this is a time to be strong and very courageous. I believe this is not a time to hold back, but to say, God, you know me. You know me. You know my future. You know my destiny. My times are in your plans, in your hands. You've written every day of my book, my story before one of them came to be. You are in tomorrow. And so I want to encourage you. Take hold of God today. Pick up those promises, those prophecies, those words that God has given you for your life. Look forward to the future with the confident knowledge that he has gone before to make every crooked place straight and every rough place smooth. God bless you. I trust you're encouraged today and I look forward to seeing you the next time when we're all out of here and we're praising him together.